What's up guys? This is Jerry back again. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I'm running on my phone. Uh, for those that don't know, this is the HTC One S. Uh, I got this phone at the end of last year and uh, I've been playing with it for a while. Recently I got tired of Sense, so I decided to uh, flash a different ROM on my phone. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I have done to this phone. Uh, right now I am running Android uh, 4.2.2. Uh, here you can see my home screen. This is uh, Nova Launcher is what I'm running. And uh, yeah, I've got the clock, I've got the uh, RSS widget. Uh, this little icon down at the bottom here, this is what uh, launches my apps. I can also press the home button on my phone to pull up the app drawer as well. Now uh, for this ROM, uh, as you can see, uh, everything is uh, black themed. Uh, it's a black and blue theme, which I think is really nice. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what ROM this is. Just go to my settings here. So, yeah, this is the baked, I think it's called baked bean ROM. But uh, anyways, it's by uh, Team Baked. They've pretty much taken all of the uh, Android stuff and uh, put a dark theme to it, which I think is pretty dope. And something new that uh, you don't really get to uh, you don't really get to uh, witness unless you're using Sense uh, with these Android phones. Now I just want to go through some of the settings that they have, just so you guys can take a look here at some of the uh, stuff that this ROM adds to your phone. Uh, like in this case, actually we just have the uh, launcher settings, which that takes me to the Nova launcher, uh, which is actually not included with this ROM. I bought that separately. But uh, in the bake settings, so you've got like your system settings here. And change like the UI mode if you want phone, tablet, or a hybrid version of the two. Uh, here you have your prop modder, so you can do like a upload speed hack, stuff like that. A bunch of other crap that I don't ever touch, but it's there. Uh, go to like the power menu. I always use, uh, like to add the show screenshot button there because I like to be able to take screenshots whenever just to show off the, uh, the shit that I'm doing. And uh, here you can add like a nav bar, which in this case just puts like, uh, like pretty much your hardware buttons uh, on the actual screen. Not really necessary for this phone, but it's there, so whatever. And uh, so yeah, the Pi settings, I really don't know what Pi does, to be honest with you, so I just leave that alone. You have like your uh, lock screen shortcuts, like for mine, I can. Uh, I have like phone, email, text message, uh, Google Voice, I guess that's a voice search or voice whatever, and then your actual unlock function there. That's what that's for. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, you got your power widget. 
Uh, here you can change like how your battery icon is, the style, stuff like that. You can see I went with the icon with the percent centered. Or you can even hide it if you want to. Yeah, like your clock, you can change it. I added the uh, AM, PM on there. You can change like where you want it to be. So if it's like left, right, or center, things like that. And uh, status bar, you can actually change so that, uh, where is the setting at? Oh yeah, this is a different place. So you can put like a custom carrier label, crap like that. There's also an option on here somewhere. I may have skipped it. Oh, it might be in quick settings, yeah. Or let's say if you uh, set that to the right, if you just pull on the right side of your page, you get access to your quick settings. And it'll show like, you'll get your own picture there. I won't be there, unfortunately for you. But <laughs> uh, you got like your brightness, your settings wireless display and crap like that so I actually have that turned off I don't really need that it's not a big deal to click the other icon but like here you can see everything's black themed uh, see if we go to email here you got black themed email see here you go to Google Everything's black theme there, which is pretty cool. There, you check out the dialer. It's all black theme, so yeah, I dig it. It's a uh, it's a nice little change from Sense, which I was running the Sense Five ROM, one of the ROMs that's out there, and uh, I just got kind of bored of Sense, so at the moment. Just running with uh, vanilla Android with a twist. So, it's not bad so far. So I just thought I'd make a video to show you guys. It's pretty, pretty snappy as well. Uh, also in this ROM, you can see here, if we go down to uh, about phone there, at the HTC One S. Android 4.2.2, uh, big ROM. And you can see I'm running the uh, kernel version 3.4. Uh, now there is a weird quirk that is mentioned about this. Uh, I guess it's a kernel issue, which is that uh, the screen's a little delayed when you come from the lock screen. I'm just gonna show you guys an example here. So if I turn the phone off, power button, wait just a second, and turn it on here. You see there's a delay between when the uh, actual physical buttons light up on the device and then when the actual screen turns on. And I guess that's a known issue uh, running this uh, particular kernel, which it's okay it's it is something that you notice but everything else works great to where I can live with it for now but it would be nice to to get that addressed and uh, one thing here let's see if you can see the uh, camera here at all So yeah, the camera is not too bad. It's uh, it doesn't feel as good as the original, the original camera, but. I don't know about anyone else, but my camera, I feel like it degrade, degrades over time. Like, it's not really as good as it used to be. And I don't know if that's just because I'm trying different ROMs and cameras just aren't as good quality as the initial Sense camera, or if there's something on my phone. If you guys have that problem too, let me know. It's 
because the pictures I took when I first got the phone seemed a lot crisper than they are now. Like regardless of the ROM. Which is kind of weird, but... Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see some of the apps that I run here. To be honest with you, I really only use a lot of like social networking apps. Like Twitter. Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, uh, the stock browser, I don't really like Chrome or Firefox on a mobile browser, there's stuff like that, uh, every now and then I'll use Pulse, uh, a power amp actually I use when I'm in my car, uh, and Sports Center sometimes I'll use to, uh, to see if there's any games on or anything like that, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Not a bad ROM. For now, I have Ditch Sense. I might make another video if if this phone ever gets updated and we get Sense 5. Not looking likely right now, so uh, this is going to be my DD for now. And here's the newest uh, YouTube app, actually. If you guys haven't seen this yet, or if you haven't updated to it yet, it's not bad. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what uh, kind of ROMs you guys are running on your phone, what you think of them. And uh, let me know if there's some good apps out there that uh, you didn't see in my app drawer that you can recommend. Sometimes I get bored with the phone, so anytime anyone has any recommendations for a good app definitely uh, be interested in checking that out so just let me know guys uh, if you like this video go ahead and like it and make sure you comment and subscribe as well so i'll see you guys later